वेलकम टू इंटर्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ लैपटॉप चिप लेवल रिपेयर ट्रेनिंग दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू लैपटॉप बॉर्ड्स वी विल सो यू द लैपटॉप बॉर्ड्स द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज अर इंट्रोडक्शन टू लैपटॉप बॉर्ड्स इन द लैपटॉप चिप लेवल ट्रेनिंग बिफोर गोइंग टू द लैपटॉप बॉर्ड्स वी मस्ट हैव अ बेजिक आइडिया ऑफ डेस्कटॉप मदरबोर्ड तो इनपुट एंड आउटपुट two process input output we give the data and it gives the output to output to printer or vga or display or vga something processes are there so there will be one input output we are giving input and processing uh, storing on the hard disk and all those processes are done for that we require the different sections so keyboard mouse are connected through io to the output printer in a desktop board would look like this you already know these things okay it is single side bottom there is a no connections nothing is there only pins are there these is an uh, dual uh, electronics components are there one is an smd and one is a normal next this is old motherboard and this is a latest boards that is i3 i5 block diagram here the cpu is connected with the ram and sometime the graphic also connected with the cpu and graphic ic is also connected with the cpu this is r51 bottom view and this is a top view top view main components are there bottom is additional components are there this is single chip cq50 motherboards that is also cpu Dif we are showing different boards so that you can un understand their concepts this is a cpu this is with north bridge south bridge both combined ic's ram is connected with the cpu and these are the power section 1.8 1.5 3 watt 5 watt all the power sections are there this is sony mbx motherboard 165 top view okay here also same cpu intel 965 graphic chips additional memory additional graphic chips are there see graphic chips north bridge okay cpu and others uh, graphic memory and these are the power regulator where you can see the inductor it means this is the power chapter 2 types of platform intel and amd sanama platforms block diagram something like this where is the cpu north bridge south bridge okay cpu is connected with north bridge north bridge connected with the ram and uh, output input and pci express graphic cpu thermal sensor cpu there is a 478 pins cpu required the clock frequency so near to that that clock generator ic is give the frequency to the cpu this is your ct1 that is a v2000 dv2000 dv1000 v2000 m2000 motherboard block diagram here we are explaining the cpu with the vrm and cpu thermals cpu required the power so there is a vrm section which give the supply to the cpu as per its required then the clock generator also give the frequency to the cpu north bridge is also there you have seen the north bridge north bridge is a big ic near to the cpu north bridge then again connected with the crt port so what is an introduction to board is you have to identify the component first then we can go ahead the ram is also connected with the north bridge and display section is also connected with north bridge and the here back side south bridge is connected hard disk wifi audio lan pci all are connection with the help of south bridge the whole board connection will be like this cpu north bridge south bridge north bridge is connected with maybe graphic ic and directly connected and some ram is also that cpu clock generator south bridge also have this type of connection and io ic parallel keyboard different ics used in different motherboards laptops primary second secondary like that the main manufacturer are max rt texas instruments and isl we can count of ics dot will be like this a b c d 1 2 3 4 if we want to count this dot then a 9 like that we can count the signals it is small ics also we can either address like this d 9 or something welcome to our students this is laptop third module laptop chip level repairing training chapter 3 basic working detail of motherboard power stage basic how the motherboard power on 
what the different power required and what is the stage of laptop motherboard we will explain this thing here another is an octal number system base is equal to 8 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 no 8 no 9 only 7 digit from 0 to 7 digit that is an 8 characters are there 8 numbers are there address bus where the data from where to where the data has to be transferred that is going data means 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit the data will be passed and control means voltage and the signals are the control bus then again south bridge will send the high to low signal to power ic then power ic will give the signals to uh, regulator ic's vrm ic's all ic's after power good getting then he will give the signal to north bridge about the power good signals all these signals passing is called a hand checking signals nowadays a new cpu is required three four different voltage an older CPU required only one voltage. In a new motherboard, the CPU is also connected with the RAM and in some motherboards, you will find the CPU is also controlling the graphic ICs. Further, Southbridge is connected with the card reader and card reader to run, it's also required the voltage 3 watt, PCI slot 3 watt, Wi-Fi slot, touchpad required 5 watt, keyboard required 3 watt, like that. All these components require different powers. Another is the same stage Hibernate working as a standby only but Hibernate will be shut down the laptops and store the, all the data in the hard disk as a file. Standby stage there will be a 3 watt, 5 watt, 2.5, 1.5 we can say SUS or in some case it is written as a S3 also. Laptop CMOS battery give the power to whom? RTC, real time clock, BIOS, cheap, south bridge, some portions getting power, RTC, CMOS is connected. For the BGA, we have a three different BGA. This is your ZMR5860, that is an 870 and these are the 862, old one. These are the infrared, in this we have a lamp and the uh, red uh, infrared is there no air pressure is there here is also infrared are there but here also infrared and here is a blower with IRDA base heaters are there blower is there bottom blower is there and top blower is there so this is a BJ machine what we are using in the repairing and training and uh, we also sell these machines also as a budget whatever you want if you have low budget you go for this machine that is an 862 plus plus with a bottom heater if you have a high bu medium budget then you can take this one and one more model is that that is on our another center that is a zxc1 or zxc2 you can buy the zxc1 c2 also this is infrared lamp with the infrared the base heater is also heating and the, from top the lamp is giving the heating this is normal 870 infrared and this is an highest BGO machine that is an ZMR 5860 we are using these are the repairing instrument what we require to repair first of all for the soldering we require these instruments that is we are using at an A356 this is with the blower and with the micro iron both are the common we can use whatever we want soldering or BGA for that we will use uh, nozzles for reboiling this is a micro iron small one micro iron for the bit small one if you require this we can use this if you require this we can use this these are the tools what we are using for the chip level repairing normal tools this is a third eye where we can put a wire or something we can use a magnifier also if you want to third hand it, these tools says as a third hand tools ok so these are the third hand tools then we are using the multimeter we have a three type of multimeters analog digital and advanced for testing the uh, uh, frequency diode capacitors and all those we are using advanced instruments also different balls we are using see these are the very small balls are there this size is point different size balls are coming 
it is a point 0.55 and these are different size 0 0.35 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.76 and this is a flux we are using a flux heavy flux qsi solder plus maybe you can use any flux but it is a high quality flux okay so this is a stencil stand where we will use the stencil these are the different stencils you can check different stencils we are using the bios programmer we have different bios programmers first of all there is a nano bios small one after that we have used the l90 also these have some advantage also and some disadvantages also it supports some common e promises only and if you are going advanced machine we are going to the super pro that is a model 600p that is a zeltec and another is a su flash pro next portion we are using the slot testers these are the slot testers in a slot tester first of all we will see the cpu slot tester you can see the cpu slot tester with led without led these are with led here you can check the ram slot tester ram ddr2 and ddr3 of the desktops ddr1 for the laptop ok pci slot tester again ddr1 2 uh, 2 and 3 slot testers with led without led and now the testing instruments we are using Tektronix TDS 1001 CRO that is we have an old one now the Chinese uh, CRO is also coming Victor VC 2000 ok frequency counters and all those things is coming see these we are using a Victor Victor for the frequency counter then we are using the power supply unit to give the power to the laptop ok the original arts is there and uh, a10 power supply is also coming we can connect the converters whatever we want we will remove the converters uh, what the probe we want we will use remove from here and we will connect on this MOSFETs used switching and linear regulator this is n channel MOSFET is connected with the drain source and gate and its symbol will be like this this is n channel MOSFET drain connected to diode through the cathode and source connected to diode anode there is a two type of channel MOSFET n channel and p channel MOSFETs in one n channel and p channel we have to put the black probe and red probe alternate to gate to drain and drain to gate so gate to source and source to gate there will be a no beep or no value means MOSFET is maybe ok uh, we will show you the practical how the we check the MOSFETs there is a control gate we will put the MOSFET on the, uh, on the trainer kit and we will give the supply to the gate 0 watt we will put a give the 5 watt to the drain the output will be the 0 in a dual channel MOSFET maybe N channel maybe P channel are divided like this one says one gate and two drain for one one source to gate two and drain two so these are the do MOSFET dual MOSFETs these are old and in some laptop you will find this type of MOSFETs you can see the source are connected drain are connected and one gate is different any IC will give the enable signal to the gate the power maybe 2 watt 3 watt 4 watt depending on the input and output the 3.3 is a drain here is a fix 3.3 when it gives a 2 watt power the output will be low or fast 3 watt 4 watt depend on the output in the desktop motherboard the driver ICs will be there and driver IC will enable these two MOSFET that is a high MOSFET and low MOSFETs it's giving high when it's giving high it is low when this low this is high like that alternate signals is coming and due to this this signal is coming like this here is a 12 watt and here is a ground is connected and output is going to the coil and from here 1.5 watt is there in different motherboards different same concepts are there you have to see the enable signals this is its schematic diagram 
you can see here the dual MOSFET that is a PQ101 here also you can see this is a PQ101 104 uh, PQ101 understanding the power on sequence of laptop motherboards now when the customers or when the users press the power button this signal NBS1 high is coming on the power button that is a 3 watt or 2 5 watt high watt is coming to the power button when the customer press the power button this high sort with the ground means high become a low for 2 seconds 3 seconds depend on the timing this high become a low then this IOIC or EC or power IC understand that the high become a low means the signal is generating from CPU VID signal will be coming as a feedback signal through VID the VRM IC regulator IC understand how much power to be supplied to the CPU core and then it will generate the CPU core as per its requirement if all this process is ok then again here same voltage will go to the power IC that the VRM section is ok CPU also getting the power when it is going on the on stage so CPU said as a CPU VC core VGA core means graphic IC also getting the power when run on here VRM on signal is coming from the power controller then only this VRM IC will start working HP 1000 watts it also has same concept AC and DC AC means adapter signal name is a PV adapter and PV back VADPL the charger is connected then the PV back is a main win voltage here we can say PV back this is Dell Inspiron N5010 here also we can see this is a sequence how the motherboard starts that is adapter ok adapter battery we will zoom it one adapter is connected and battery is connection here both the combined the power SRC is there that is win power SRC in some motherboards you will see the power on sequence here is some power on sequence first RTC which is from low to high then PCH RTC power SRC 3.3 5 watt enable step by step signals from where it is coming this is also written